Hi guys and welcome back to Agency Academy. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your project management tool and in the last episode we talked about how to actually create your process and your project management process for your whole project. So if you missed that I'm going to link that up here and you can go watch that video first. So the reason we want to have some sort of project management tool is because it just keeps everything centralized. So rather than you trying to keep things in like different drive documents or you know on your computers, especially if you're collaborating with people and there's going to be at least one person you're collaborating with, which is your client. So it's always good to have some sort of system that's on the cloud that can always keep all of your files, all of your different steps, and everyone knows what's expected of them at any point in time. And so it doesn't really matter which project management system that you pick. The most important thing is that you find one that you're comfortable with and that you stick to that one because it can be so tempting to just sort of find a new one and have some great features and then you switch. And so try to think about the different things that are important to you. I like to have a really clear overview of the project and the different stages. And that can be done through a Kanban board like in Trello. It can also be done through, you know, sort of seeing timelines like what you can have in Asana, for example. Or you might want to just have more of a free form like using Notion, for example, where you can create your own structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to create an internal and an external board or project for uh, the project management system. So the internal one is going to have all of the tasks that you and your team need to do to complete the project. And this is, you know, an important thing to make a distinction because you might not want your client to have, you know, overview or insight into every single thing that you're doing within the company. You might want to share ideas or work on things that are not finished. And so I think it's good to have a separation of the two. So we're also going to make a client board or project. And this is where they can see what's expected of them, where you are in the process, and you can, you know, ask for files or feedback or all these different things. So I'm going to show you here on the screen now, we're going to have a look at a setup that I've put together in Trello. I like to create a template for a typical design project using the stages and the steps that we created in our process template. And then you can just populate it with whatever information is relevant to the project. So you'll see that each stage has a column. So for example, before we start the project, I ask for them to sign an agreement, I create a proposal, and I ask them to pay the first invoice. Now, once you know they've paid everything, I'll upload their receipt, I'll upload the proposal so that they always have that there and they know that they can always go and review it if they can't really remember where they saved it themselves or they're unsure of actually what was the scope of the project. And uh, it, I just do the same thing for each of the stages. So you'll have, for example, the discovery. I'll write a little note saying, this is the different thing that we're expecting to discuss in the discovery meeting. So they can always be prepared. They always know where to find the right information. And it just makes your life a lot simpler because you avoid all those emails asking, actually, when are we getting this? Uh, what do you need me to prepare for the meeting? So all those things are really great helps by having the system. You can also add then things like a support package or you know additional services at the end. So they always have this board to come back to where they can uh, access their files, they can um, you know see how the project was uh, carried out and they can kind of get help from that if they ever wonder uh, anything after they have finished the project with you. So I think that's a really great thing. For your internal things, it can be a lot more practical. So this can be, for example, the same stages where you're having just tasks and assigning them to the right person. So I like to assign the person who's doing it. I like to assign a deadline. And I also like to add the information about the task. So if there's any instructions, if it's feedback from the client, if you need to link to something that you receive from someone else, like um, for example, maybe you have uh, a research template and you're outsourcing research to someone else. Then you can just invite them to your Trello board and you can add the instructions for them to carry out the task in the card itself. So this way, it's just a really quick and easy way to always have you know, this template. You can just duplicate it. You can insert the client, invite them, do the same with your team. And then everyone instantly has a clear overview of everything that needs to be done, the deadlines, the instructions, everything's in one place. 
So I hope this was helpful and I would love to hear from you how you use project management in your company and if it's something that you love, if it's something that you feel frustrated by and other topics that you just are interested in to hear from us. So if you thought this video was helpful, like, subscribe, hit that notification and I'll see you next time. Good luck!